sin and turning signals. That's what we're talking about today <laughs> on Pastor Bob's Coffee Break. Anybody want coffee? Thank you for joining me today, folks. I have a great question that someone asked today. Dear Pastor Bob, I've been listening to you for many years. I find your advice to be valuable. Thank you. But I really need help with overcoming habitual sin. I can't seem to get control of it. You know, it's, a, it's a, an area that all of us deal with things that we would love to overcome and we'd love to get free of. I'm 72 years old now. There are things that I've been trying to overcome all of my life and still struggling a bit with. I don't think we ever get to that place of perfection. I would love to say that I have, but I haven't. There are some things that I've overcome and some things that I'm a whole lot better at but there are still some things that are problem areas. And how do we get through this? You and I have talked a lot about in the past, fighting the battle before the battle. That's an important concept. In other words, I know I'm going to continue to struggle with this, so I plan for it. I fight the battle in my head and I say, when this happens again, this is what I'm going to do. And I practice that. And I begin to overcome because I've already decided what I'm going to do. And then threshold thinking. We talked about that too. I'm going to take this thought captive at the threshold of my mind and deal with it there. Well, practically, how do you do that? You know, I grew up on a farm. And uh, I learned how to drive when I was very young, probably 11 or 12, I think. And uh, I had my first car when I was 12, honestly. But we're talking about the farm. Dirt roads, nobody around, nobody you can really hurt. Yeah. And uh, my grandfather is the one that taught me how to drive. And uh, we did it on those old dirt roads and, you know, it was an easy thing because there wasn't any other traffic. And I remember the turning signal. Whenever we turn, there there were times that I wouldn't use the turning signal and and uh and he'd say, Oh, you forgot your turning signal. And I and finally I said, you know, there's nobody here. There's nobody that's going to see my turning signal. And he said, That's not the point. He said, the point is training your brain that every time you turn, you automatically turn on the turning signal. He said, if you train your mind that way, you won't even think about it. You'll always use your turning signal. That made sense. And I do. I always use my turning signal and I very rarely think about it. It's automatic. After all these years, it's automatic and it's been automatic for a long time but it's how I trained my mind it was fighting the battle before the battle I learned how to do it and once I came to that fork in the road where I needed to turn my turning signal was automatic and folks I think it's that way a lot with sin you know when we train our minds to react in a certain way at the onset, on the threshold of our thinking, the threshold of a difficult decision or temptation or whatever it might be, and I've already decided what I'm going to do, that really helps. And the Bible says flee from sin. The word flee means run away as fast as you can. In other words, make the decision quickly and go. 
And the more you think about it, the more you're probably going to commit whatever sin you're thinking about. But if you simply run from it, if your first impulse is to run away from it, and that threshold thinking says, here it is, here's the temptation, here's what I've planned to do, and you automatically, like putting on your turning signal, run away almost before you think about it, almost before you consider it. It's an automatic thing. Folks, that's how we need to train our brains when it comes to sin. And we've already made a decision to do something better. It's one of those things where when you look back on it and you say, this is a decision that I made and how did that work for me? You think, wow, I'm so glad I made that decision. That's part of the battle is realizing that when you get to that place and you make the right decision, you're going to be glad you did. That's the outcome. Fighting the battle before the battle. By the way, use your turning signal. <laughs> Don't forget, you are blessed. So go and be a blessing.